Spinach. We've always been told to eat it because it makes us healthy and strong. You may remember the famous cartoon character of Popeye the Sailor Man, who made eating spinach popular. His tagline was, I'm strong to the finish because it eats my spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. In these cartoons, Popeye would be faced with a threat and he would simply pop open a can of spinach, eat it in one gulp, which caused his muscles to grow to huge proportions and allowed him to easily save the day. Next time you're at a grocery store, look for the package Popeye spinach brand that suggests that eating spinach can make you strong too. But here's the thing that no one shared then and that they certainly don't market now. Spinach is 93% water, 93%, which means that unless our sailor man was severely dehydrated, the only protein benefit that he would get from a can of spinach would be about 1.2% of his daily needs. So if spinach is 93% water, what are the benefits that make it so nutritious? And how do we efficiently get those benefits without having to consume nine cans? I have been fascinated with nutrition and studying it for many years. What makes my research unique is that I start with a food analysis rather than a body analysis. Most researchers focus first on the body and determine what you need to eat. My focus has shifted away from the body and onto the makeup of our food. For example, instead of asking how much spinach should I consume, my questions are, what does spinach contain that makes it so nutritious? How much of that good nutrition is there per serving? And what is the most efficient method of consumption to get those benefits? The results are often surprising. Like many of you, I grew up being told spinach was one of the most beneficial green leafy vegetables I could consume. I was told it had amazing amounts of fiber, calcium, vitamins, and minerals. My mom would sneak it into brownie batter and scrambled eggs to ensure I got some into my diet. And I continued to believe that until my research made me question everything I thought I knew about spinach. Today, I invite you to open your mind as we uncover why spinach extract is the better approach to a healthy diet. We will explore this idea by analyzing the quality of our grocery store spinach the surprising nutritional facts about spinach, and finally why spinach extract is the best approach. When was the last time that you stopped to think about the quality of spinach that you get at the grocery store? Well, I can guarantee that what I'm about to share with you will have you questioning it next time it's on your shopping list. Packaged spinach is dirty, really dirty. The International Association for Food Protection published a study in 2019 which highlights how food produce has been reported to be a significant source of foodborne illness outbreaks annually. From 1998 to 2012, leafy vegetables accounted for 262 outbreaks of illness in the United States with six infection outbreaks directly associated with the consumption of packaged spinach. Even if you're buying bunches of spinach instead of packaged, think about how that spinach was shipped to the store in a package. How do you store it in your fridge? In a package. So why is packaged spinach so bad for you? Well, the spinach continues to ripen after harvest, which means it is consuming and releasing gases. This results in the growth of harmful microorganisms, which can make you sick. Washing thoroughly with vinegar can help reduce the risk, but that takes precious time that few of us have in today's busy world. Okay, so let's say hypothetically that you do have time to wash your spinach. You've carefully scrubbed it in a bath of vinegar and have taken time to dry and store it. How much of a benefit are you actually getting when you consume it? Get ready to be blown away by the nutritional facts about spinach. This is 30 grams or about one cup of spinach and it contains 27 
grams of water, less than one gram of protein, and less than one gram of fiber. In fact, the only content of this cup of spinach that exceeds one gram is carbohydrates. Perhaps not exactly the miracle food you thought. You might suggest that vitamins and minerals are what makes that cup so beneficial. And yes, there are many vitamins and many minerals, over 23 types. But there is only one vitamin for which a cup of spinach meets your daily intake need. And that is vitamin K which reduces blood clotting and helps calcium build bones. This information is a far cry from how spinach is generally perceived. So we've established that spinach is dirty and that a cup of raw spinach lacks nutrition. With this shocking information, you might ask, what's the point of eating it then? I sure did. But then my next research step is to explore how I can get the benefits more efficiently. And there was one very simple answer to this question. Spinach extract. First, spinach extract isn't packaged up and sent to a store to sit on a shelf. It is dehydrated after harvest and therefore doesn't have the same risks of building a community of microorganisms for you to swallow. Second, if you take four of these pills daily, you're getting three grams of spinach extract compared to three grams of raw spinach, which is 93% water and only 7% spinach. Consider the amazing benefits of what I've shared. No harmful microorganisms, no washing, no measuring, only the five seconds needed to swallow the pills. In closing, I suggest to you that spinach extract is the better approach to a healthy diet. And you don't have to take my word for it. Some light research on the nutritional content of spinach will lead you to the same information. If our Popeye the Sailor Man was being shown as factually correct, the only way he could get close to his daily needs would be to take spinach extract. Perhaps one day we will see his face on a bottle of pills rather than a bag of spinach.